Hey yo Islanders, welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be actually a little bit of a fun one where I actually made this video that you're all about to see for a class project, but I thought all of you would really enjoy this content. So sit back, relax with your favorite snack, and let's get started, shall we? Hey yo everyone, welcome to my Maker Badge video, where today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of a hack that I'm sure all of you that are working from home are really going to enjoy. And it includes, we're going to take this Raspberry Pi, we're going to connect it to our main Wi-Fi. So whatever your cable company, whatever Wi-Fi your cable company is providing, you're going to connect it to this one then we're going to take this ethernet cord connect it to here and then connect it to the router where essentially this so this raspberry pi 4 is going to give this router a new network which expands your network what are you going to need for this project you're going to need a raspberry pi 4 a cat 6 and a router as well as a power cord for your router, a power cord for your Raspberry Pi, an HDMI cord for your Raspberry Pi, a mouse for your Raspberry Pi, and a keyboard for your Raspberry Pi. There are a lot of Raspberry Pis out on the market. There are all sorts of different models. The newest model, Raspberry Pi 4, is the one that I recommend. Reason being, it can provide a gigabyte of network through its Ethernet cord. All right, where the other Raspberry Pis can't do that. As well as the speed that the Raspberry Pi has is something that you're going to really need because of how a lot of your networks probably have 5G. Raspberry Pi 4 supports that. Not only does it provide it through its ethernet port, but it also is able to accept 5G. So I'm gonna get this thing all hooked up to my screen and I'll show all of you the steps you need to take in order to take this simple Raspberry Pi and turn it into a network pastor so let's get started shall we hey everyone so i have a raspberry pi up on the screen now there are plenty of videos out on youtube about how to actually get your raspberry pi up and going today's not going to be one of those videos there's plenty of videos that will explain it a lot better than i can today the main focus is just getting your raspberry pi to work as a wi-fi gate so that you can actually continue to work remotely from home as comfortable as possible so the very first thing we're going to do is actually open up a terminal and what a terminal is, is, remember when you're watching a TV show or a movie and you ha see someone hacking into a computer and it's that big black screen? That is a terminal and that is what we're going to be working with today. We're just going to click that button. So this is the button right here to open up a terminal in Raspberry Pi. Click that, it's going to give you the screen. The very first thing we're going to do is do sudo app get update. Alright, now I'm going to hit enter don't worry you don't have to be pausing this video I should be I will be adding all of the commands that I run down on the bottom of the screen alright so that you can clearly see and then you can pause it that way Oop. and then we're gonna hit run next thing we're gonna do is I'm actually this commands very very long so I copied and pasted it um, again this command will be in the bottom of the screen so that you can clearly see what is going on but I'm just gonna hit copy right in so in order to copy something also you have to do right click and then paste and then that's the command right there we're gonna hit enter hit Y and we're just gonna let it download it is going to take a while so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a high speed through this portion I'll see all of you at the other end so we have the installation package all installed and it's ready to go to actually ignite to like uh, to actually start up all those installations and get it into the system you have to do a re reboot and that is exactly what we're going to do is just by coming down over here and we're just going to say sudo reboot all right and then as soon as I do that everything's gonna close down so I'm just going to hit enter now and I'll see all of you as soon as this thing boots up which will be probably milliseconds for you all right so the system is up and going and the very first thing we're going to actually do is we're going to take our cat you're going to take your cat six wire or ethernet cord i recommend cat six because of the speed but you can really use any ethernet cord you want and we're going to actually take this and connect one end to from our raspberry pi and the other end you're going to connect it to really any computer that has an ethernet port you can connect it up to this if you want to your router but I don't recommend that just because of you really want something that you can gauge the Wi-Fi on so we're, I'm gonna connect that up real quick again this is just for us to start calibrating all of the systems within the Raspberry Pi which actually really isn't that much 
but you should be seeing up in this corner right here a little circle that means that the program is working the installation that we just had done is actually working now the way that this is actually working is that we essentially created two wireless networks inside of our Raspberry Pi one which is this one which should be hooked up to your main network and that is the one that is pulling the Wi-Fi the other one is that is a network that is going to be pushing out the Wi-Fi now you do not now some tutorials say delete this Wi-Fi don't delete that because you're gonna lose speed and there's really no need to delete that because you're not creating another wireless network through the Raspberry Pi so therefore the Raspberry Pi is not actually producing the wireless network we're having the router do that so it is completely possible to actually do it the way that I'm doing it and I'll show all of you in a sec basically by just right clicking on this and we're gonna go to edit connections when you just open up you're gonna see wired connections ignore that for right now we're gonna hit add Ethernet bridge create you can name one whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it how it is and we're gonna to go to the IPv4 settings and we're going to change this to share to other computers alright and we're gonna to go to the IPv6 shared to other computers now hit save come up to here IPv4 settings again here shared to other computers shared to other computers and then we're gonna hit save you are gonna want to come back to here and double check that this is working that the settings didn't get changed because sometimes this will get changed back to automatic you don't want it automatic you want it shared to other computers and then once you hit save you can actually take your Raspberry Pi and connect it to your router but I'm going to show you one more thing because all these these routers as well as the modems that are inside of your computer have a maintenance code within it and I'm going to show all of you how to do that because you really do want to set up some t sort of maintenance schedule for your Raspberry Pi and really what this one it's going to be a very simple maintenance file essentially all we're going to be doing is just saying once a week we want a reboot so we're gonna come over to programming Thony and then we're going to actually so what we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna to want to import date time the date time library and then we're going to import the OS library all right now this is all within Python and Python is pretty simple to understand but again I'm gonna walk you through very first thing we're gonna say date well day actually we're gonna change this variable to day equals date time dot date time dot today Alright, so this is going to allow our Raspberry Pi to be able to not only what day of the week it is, but what time of the day it is. And we're just going to do a while true. And we're going to say if day dot week day equals. Now I want it to be set up on to be updating every Friday. Alright, so Sunday is 0, Saturday is 6. So therefore, we want this variable to be equal to 5. Alright? And then we want to say day dot hour equals. Now, I want this reload. I want this rebooting every single Friday at midnight. Alright? So the date time library actually works in military time. So we're just going to say 0. Alright? And then we're actually. I forgot one thing. My bad say and right there and we're gonna say another and right there and we're gonna say day dot m minute m i n u t e equals zero all right now we're just going to then hit enter and we're gonna say os dot system the os library has a method inside of it called system system allows us to actually print stuff straight to the terminal so we're gonna say system os dot system and then we're gonna say sudo reboot and we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna hit enter and then back one backspace one alright so we're gonna actually just copy the statement right here and we're going to just paste it just like that we're going to just hit run and it's going to automatically make you save it save the file 
in my circumstance, you can really save this however you want. I'm just going to say boot.py, all right? And I'm gonna hit okay, we'll enter. And since this statement is right now, as of right now, it is false, and there's no red lines underneath, that means this program's working exactly how I want it. So I'm just gonna hit stop. We're going to hit X out of this. We're gonna open up another terminal, and we're going to wanna do sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash rc dot local the nano is a text editor and the sudo allows you the access to actually edit this file so we're going to just hit enter and we're going to actually go all the way down right above the exit zero we're actually going to just be adding one line we're going to say python 3 and we're going to specify the directory in a circumstance of us we're going to actually do forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash boot dot pi all right now control x y enter now we're going to want to go sudo system ctl status and we're going to say rc local dot service all right hit enter so it's saying it's fine but for good measure we're going to actually hit control c and we're going to push the arrow button up once and I just want to restart the whole service so that we know it works. Enter. Warning. All right. This is exactly what I want to make sure it didn't happen. So we have control C again and we're going to actually do SYS system CTL D A E M demon reload. All right. Enter and it's going to ask for your credentials just like that and we're just going to run restart one more time just to make sure nothing popped up that's a good thing we're gonna hit control C again and we're going to actually do status this time everything's all fine and dandy from what I can see there's no red blinking lights none of the writing is red so therefore our program is successful now what you can do is you can take your Raspberry Pi connect it to your router and you have access to your main network anywhere you want this router will have its own password username and password different than the other one follow your router's instructions for mine it's going to be it's gonna be different for mine compared to yours all right so I'll see you all I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching Hey yo Islanders, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in today's video, you are honestly awesome. And if you haven't done so yet and you really enjoyed this video as well as you found value from this video, please consider hitting that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, then hit that subscription button to get notified when I post my next video. As well as if you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave it down in the comment section down below and all of the code will is in the description bar down below. All of the steps needed as well as the code needed for today's for today's project is down in the description bar down below as well as if you have any questions on those uh, steps please leave it down in the comment section i'll see you all in my next video bye